Today we're gonna make slow cooker Hungarian goulash. It's a recipe we've never tried before. It's uh, served over egg noodles. It's a beef recipe. We couldn't quite find the cut of beef they called for, but we searched like a crazy people. We went to about four different stores looking for something, and this is about as close as we could find. It actually called for boneless beef chuck eye roast. And uh, this is almost that. Trim this up. Trim off this excess fat. Cut of meat that it called for was a little bit less fatty. Oh, a lot less fatty. And we were able to find a boneless beef chuck eye roast, but it wasn't big enough and they only had that much and the meat department was closed. We couldn't see if they had any more. So we opted not to buy it and then went someplace else who didn't quite have the exact same cut of beef that they had called for. This is a... What is this? this shoulder, is, beef shoulder roast? Um, beef bottom round roast. There we go. Beef bottom round. This is a bottom round roast. Because we did want to get a boneless roast. That's one thing it called for. It's important to have a good knife, sharp knife. They're trimming the fat. Remember to still cut away from you. Especially when you're using a good knife. Nice, nice thing you have for Half inch chunks are pretty big chunks. One and a half inch chunks. I guess if you could get four pounds, I mean, basically you, you could get the pre-cut stew meat. That's usually a, a chuck roast of sorts. Going in the slow cooker. Make sure we cleaned up our raw meat station. It says a teaspoon of salt. I think maybe a little bit of a generous Not teaspoon. Not much meat. It doesn't mention pepper, but. This sits while we process everything else to add to it before we start the slow cook. Calls for four carrots. I like more carrots, so we're gonna do that chopped into one inch. Calls for four pounds of onions or six cups chopped. Uh, this is not four pounds, but it seems, we'll find out how much. Figure uh, onion is about a cup, chopped, huh? Yeah, man. These yellow onions are kicking today. These are particularly pungent today. onions were rough today. Our eyes are both just bleeding. 
They hurt so bad, we gotta take a break after this. But this looks like it's definitely six cups. This container is a quart and three quarters. Um, a little extra, it ain't any bad, but we don't understand the four pound. Yeah, I don't know where four pounds of onions yeah. chopped up makes six cups. that a whole jar i think it was 12 ounces of roasted peppers yep supposed to process that along with the paprika tomato paste and vinegar until smooth he wants one third cup of paprika not the hot paprika just the regular sweet paprika yep. not smoked not hot yeah not smoked either third cup is quite a bit so you want to make sure you have that before you start the recipe yeah you need a full jar of paprika yeah it's about a full jar a lot of paprika tomato paste salt to two tablespoons salt to two tablespoons Just white vinegar. One tablespoon. Paprika. One third cup. This is our little handheld processor. We use as the emulsifier. We don't use it too often. He's all ready to pull out the big food processor. And I, like, I got a little food, food for it. Please. It said two minutes. I just, I guess they mean really well processed. Nice and smooth. Your judgment. Simmering or? So now we're Simmering. going to the Dutch oven. This is ours. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of oil. Calls for vegetable oil. We're using peanut oil. Heat. As the oil's heating, we're gonna go ahead and get the flour ready. It's three tablespoons. Set it here for when it's time. Starting to crackle, so it might be hot enough. These are a little more than six cups of onions. About a few more than four cups. And a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt. To cook covered until onions are softened, stirring occasionally. It does say covered, stirring occasionally, so six to eight minutes. Stir occasionally. Hey, it's been what, six minutes, eight minutes, it's been eight minutes. About eight minutes. About eight minutes. They're about three minutes. stirring the flour, about three tablespoons. And let that cook for about a minute in there to cook off the flour. Just to go ahead and put it all in there. Uh, go ahead and put it all in there. Here comes the, the bay leaves. Two? Uh, well, you know. I, I, yeah. Sure. Uh, pepper mixture. Mm -hmm. Salt. Onion, 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 onion,
stick a little bit. Mm -hmm. Probably been a, about a minute and a half, but you want to, well, so you just scrape when you add your water, but I guess not. It's been about two minutes to add water and then scrape the brown bits. Turn off from feet. And I'll stir it. Stir it in to make sure all the meat is evenly coated. We're going to cover and cook until meat is tender on slow or high. Cook on low seven to eight hours or high six to seven hours. We're putting it on high so we can have dinner around maybe six p.m. So six to seven hours. Five hours in. You give a stir. good for our egg noodles. Yeah, they did cook down. That's a baby. Is they, are they tender? Mm -hmm. Is it smush? Against this one. No smush, no straight up smush, no, very tight. We're gonna make egg noodles to go with the Hungarian goulash. Okay, time's up, the egg noodles are made. Now it says half a cup of sour cream. Put it into a separate little bowl. And we're gonna put some of the stew in here and mix it up and then put it back in to keep it from curdling. Where's Mr. Bailey? Watch out for the dreaded bay leaf. over some egg noodles. Oh yeah, it looks hearty. It's like a tomato pepper based stew, this Hungarian goulash stuff. There's so many different ways to make it. Let's enjoy, I'm sure we will. Hope you do too. Thank you and subscribe guys if you like this content so we'll know we're doing what you want. Any requests, let us know. <laughs>